Welcome to Summer School with Mrs. Hasty. Nutrition, exercise, water, sunlight, temperance, clean air, rest, and trust all make a healthier you. This is my garden. I'll plant it with care. I'll plant the seeds right over there. The sun will shine. The rain will fall. The seeds will sprout up to plants growing tall. Sunshine helps the plants grow tall, but sunshine also helps me grow healthy too. 10 to 15 minutes of summer noontime sun helps me get my daily dose of vitamin D. Vitamin D is important because it helps your body absorb calcium and phosphorus, nutrients that helps keep your bones, your teeth, and your muscles strong. So keep shining on me, sunshine. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind a tree. These little children are asking you, come on out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. I love playing in the sunshine. Of course, it's important to remember to wear sunscreen to protect our skin. But being out in the sunshine increases our white blood cells and our antibodies. White blood cells and antibodies are those little fighters that fight off sickness and disease. Let's pretend we're out playing in the sunshine. The sun gives us our light. Sometimes it's really bright. Without the sun, it would be dark. We'd only have the night. The sun has energy. It warms the air and sea. It warms the land, the dirt, the sand. It warms you and me. The sun warms my heart too. The sun helps our bodies produce serotonin, which makes us happier. The sun also helps our bodies produce a chemical called melatonin, which helps us sleep better at night. Do you know there's a creature who really likes the sunshine? This is our corn snake, Noodle. We've had him for about, since February, two years ago. And we take care of him by feeding him frozen mice that we buy. We feed him once a week. And we change his water and clean his cage. The snake likes to bask in the sun and on his heat mat. He has light coming in from the window behind the cage. And light is very important to snakes because they need warmth and they get heat through sunlight. We're going to sprout some bean seeds. If you have some beans, soil, and some pots, you could do this experiment too. Let's start by putting some soil into our two little planters. Now, I'm going to put a little hole in both of them with my finger, a place to put the bean seeds. I'm going to put three bean seeds in. Maybe they'll all sprout. And then a little more soil on top. Same with the other one. Three bean seeds in and a little more soil on top. Now both of these need a little bit of water. 
I'm going to put the same amount of water in each of them. This first one is going to be my control group. That means that I'm going to leave this one out to get some sunshine. This other plant is my test plant. We're going to test to see if this bean sprout, if these beans will sprout without any sunlight. I'm going to use this to cover it up. Then we're going to look and check day after day, giving them the same amount of water and see how they act differently. The one that gets sunlight and the one that stays in the dark. Watch with me and let's see what happens. Day four and I can see something pushing against the soil. Even in the dish that's not getting any light. Seeds can germinate even without light. All they need is water. Day five, shoots are coming up out of the soil. The sprouts that aren't getting any sun are not green like the ones that are getting sun. Plants are green because of something called photosynthesis. Photosynthesis happens when a plant absorbs carbon dioxide, nutrients, and water. Then light energy from the sun triggers a chemical reaction that breaks down the carbon dioxide and the water molecules. This process creates a sugar and also produces oxygen. Day 8. I can really tell the difference between the two plants. The bean plant that's not getting any sunlight has a yellow-white color because photosynthesis can't happen. Day 11. The bean plant that's getting sun has beautiful green leaves. The bean plant without sun looks weak and its leaves aren't fully developed. Day 13. Just look at the difference. It's been two weeks since we planted our beans, and you can tell the difference between the bean plant that received sun and the one that didn't. The bean plant that received sun was able to do photosynthesis. It has strong stems and big green leaves. The plant that received no sun has a weak stem. It's yellow and the leaves aren't fully developed. Plants need the sun. They need to be able to do photosynthesis to grow a healthy plant. We as humans don't do photosynthesis, but we still need the sun to be healthy. We're still a living thing. Human bodies need the sun to create vitamin D. We also need the sun to help us support bone health, to decrease our blood pressure, and to prevent disease. Sunlight also increases and promotes mental health as well. We need the sunshine as much as these plants did too. The northernmost town in the United States is called Utkiagvik, Alaska. It's way up at the tip of Alaska. You can't drive there. There's no roads that go there. If you want to visit, you have to take a plane. A lot of people that live in Utkiagvik call it the top of the world. Because Utkiagvik is so far north, it experiences something called a polar night. In November, the sun sets and it doesn't come up again until late January. That means that Utkiadvik has two months of darkness. 
The opposite happens in mid-May when the sun comes up and it doesn't set again for 80 days. That's over two months without darkness. During the polar night in the winter, without the sun to warm the earth, it gets very cold. People wear mittens and gloves all the time to keep from getting frostbite and children are not allowed to go out by themselves. During the two months of darkness, the sun isn't out to help people's bodies create the happiness chemical, serotonin. So a lot of people get sad and get lonely. People also have a hard time telling what time it is or even what day it is. One police officer said that people call the police station just to find out what day or what time it is. Of course, during the polar night, it's not completely dark. When the sun gets close to the horizon, they call that civil twilight, and it is a little lighter. The sky is also full of the beautiful northern lights and the full moon to light up the sky. Wow, I sure do appreciate the sunrise each morning and the sunset each night. It would be cool to visit Utqiagvik, but I would miss the sun in the winter and all the great things that it does for us. Maybe I'll have to visit during the summertime when the sun is up all night long. We'll have to wear our sunscreen for our midnight walk. Are you ready to do another craft? Yeah! Let's make sun catchers. We can hang this in our window. If you want to make a sun catcher with us, you'll need some tissue paper, some contact paper. You can find this in the home goods department. Some scissors, glue, some string, and some black construction paper. Let's get started. <laughs> We're going to start by peeling off the contact paper. It's sticky on one side, so be careful. Okay. You'll need to cut your tissue paper. We've already cut ours ahead of time, just into small little pieces. Now let's take them and stick them on. Red and blue. We have lots of colors of tissue paper, don't we? We're, we're making a rainbow. <laughs> it is like a rainbow. There's a green one. Good job. And a blue one. And a blue one. This is like a tissue paper. Yeah, tissue paper is just really thin paper. It's just like tissue paper. <laughs> I'm putting red on there. Are you going to do a red? Mm-hmm. I'm going to do lots of I got two blues. Yeah, this is pretty fun. We're getting it all full. That's good. We want to fill it all up. We'll fill it all up. Until it gets full and four. We're making a full molesty. <laughs> it's gonna be a sun catcher. Sun catcher, yeah. What's what is gonna catch? <laughs> it's going to catch the sun. Sun will shine through it and make lots of different colors. I made one that maybe is color matches. We're almost full. Yeah, we're almost full. This is pretty 
cool like a rainbow. Mm-hmm. We'll turn red and blue. Okay, are we full? Yep. Okay, now it's time to peel the rest of this off. And we're going to fold it over very carefully. Can you fold it? We don't want any air bubbles in it. So we're going to smooth it down. Can you help me smooth it? Smooth it down. They make all the different kind of colors. Oh, so beautiful, isn't it? It's a rainbow one. It is. Okay, now we need to decide what shape do we want to do. Do we want a rectangle, a square, a circle, a heart? I want to do a heart. A heart. Okay, we're going to fold our construction paper in half. And then which fancy scissors do you want to use? These ones? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that for a fishing rod? We're going to cut a heart out. Look at this one. One, two, three, one. Can I do a heart? Yeah. Heart, 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 heart. Does it look like a heart? Yeah. Okay, now we need to cut the center out of it. We're just trying to make a frame. I want to make a heart. Can you make a heart for me? Yes. That's what we're making. Okay. Here's our heart frame. Now we need to glue it on. Do you want help glue? I can't do it. Okay, let's glue it on. Help me flatten it out. Good. Look at that. The sun is going to shine through this so beautifully. Now we're going to cut again. How are you going to cut? I'm going to cut around the heart. I think that it's going to be beautiful. All these colors with the sun shining through it. Now we're going to turn it over and put some string on it so we can hang it in the window. Mm -hmm. We could try to do it with glue, but I think it might be better with some tape. Pretty cool looking tape. Okay, put the string on the back. I'm going to use a little bit of our leftover contact paper to hold it on. There we go. Won't this be beautiful hanging in the window with the sun shining through? Thanks for joining me for summer school today. And don't forget to come back again for more learning fun. Let's have fun learning how to be a healthier you.